Howdy everyone, today we're taking a look at the Earthwise 11 inch 8.5 amp electric tiller and right off the bat I've got to tell you that this thing is an absolute beast. In this video we're going to perform a real quick unbox, put it together, run over its build quality and operation and then we'll till a bunch of soil with it. So let's get to it. It does ship in a box that clearly indicates what's inside so if you have a porch pirate problem you might want to keep a close eye out when delivery time comes. Uh, when we open her up... Nice! We see the stout looking motor and tiller assembly, some hardware, the multi-piece handle, and some wheels that all need a bit of assembly action. To get going, we first remove the axle nuts and then use them to reinstall the two wheels. These are finished off by press fitting a couple of plastic hubcaps. Next we've got the two piece handle to install. Each piece is affixed to the unit using a couple of carriage bolts and thumb screws. Next you'll need to remove two machine screws for the power lever assembly. These are then used to reattach it to the handle. Finally just snap on the two cord retention clips and you're done. After assembly, we can take just a minute to admire how stout the Earthwise tiller really is. The entire drive assembly is made from a very heavy casting, while the shaft coupling the tiller arms is solid steel. You really get the impression this thing is meant to take a beating, and that's a good thing. Up here in the Pacific Northwest, our soil isn't very hard, but it is super rocky, so that's my main concern. Ergonomically, it's relatively comfortable to use with an angled and padded handle up top. To operate, you'll first need to depress a safety button and then pull the power lever. I found it takes two hands to accomplish this. Before operating in soil, you'll also need to fold the wheels up and out of the way. To do this, just pull the spring-loaded retention pin to release the assembly and then rotate up. It's then held out of the way by another spring-loaded clip. And here we are trying it out for the first time. Right out of the gate, I can tell this thing will be a workout to use. It dug right into the ground and tends to pull itself forward, quite forcefully really. Now I've got a couple projects lined up, but my first is to till up this little stretch of weeds next to my house. I did read a tip on a landscape forum that before tilling weeds, you'll save yourself some headache by first using the string trimmer to knock them down. Apparently skipping this step will result in excess vegetation clogging things up. So that leaves us ready to go. Remember, this bit of soil isn't very hard, but is really rocky. Yeah, this thing is a bucking bronco, but it does work really well. I'm happy to report that despite pulling up rock after rock, it still kept going. But here's a tip, when tilling along a chain link fence, be careful because if the two come in contact with one another, a messy tangle will ensue. Ultimately, I needed to remove the blades to get things unstuck. This ended up being a good lesson because arm removal is something you'll realistically need to perform kind of often. Here we can see that after several minutes of tilling, you inevitably end up with what I can only describe as spools of roots wrapped around the drive shaft. You could cut them away, but I found that simply removing the blades is much quicker. Here I've got a half inch socket on an extension attached to my M12 driver. It makes removing the retention bolt a very quick procedure. One can then just slide the assembly off the shaft and then easily remove the root donuts. After my crash course in electric tilling on the relatively easy side strip, I moved on to a bigger task, tilling up a few hundred square feet of rocks and weeds to make way for some grass. Ultimately, I found the technique of letting the tiller walk quickly forward for a light pass and then pulling it backwards at a slower pace gave the most consistent results. And here they are. I think it looks just excellent. I also continue to be blown away by how much abuse this thing can take and still keep on trucking. Here are some examples of what it dug up. We've got some big river rock, old pavers, and a lot more where these came from. Overall, I absolutely love the Earthwise electric tiller, and to be honest, I'm glad I went with the 8.5 amp tool instead of the more powerful 13 amp version the company offers. Using this product is seriously a workout. You're constantly fighting it as it's digging in and tossing rocks about. Uh, so, okay, that's all I had for today. 
Take care.